No. No, not really. My grades are probably one of the most important things in my life right now, so. Uh, I mean, I guess. I really could care less about what I study. It just matters about the grades. My big motivation is just trying to fit the fit the norm so I can go to college. It's that kind of thing. I guess I guess, uh, I guess I'm motivated. They only appeal to a certain kind of student, which is a student that excels in doing, you know, you know, very detailed things and busy work, while people, I think, like me, who are more, have more creative and get more concepts and big ideas, don't do as well on standardized tests. So I'm not, I haven't been a big fan, I've never really been a big fan. They just seem kind of pointless to me. It's pretty boring. I don't like them. Now, uh, the first four years, or the four years of high school are like the safe time in your life, really. So it's amazing that kids are feeling at that age invalidated and like rejected by society just because they can't pass certain tests or they're not getting good grades. Your whole life you're gonna feel like you're in dangerous situation, like the world's out to get you and like you're gonna have to do hard work in order to fight that. I mean, we should not be feeling like we're fighting to survive in the system so that we're not rejected by society while we're still living with our parents. Instead of driving kids forward with a proverbial cattle prod, we should start to ask kids what drives them to succeed and what is their personal drive or personal motivation that allows them to continue in the school system. If you keep on going based on what is right and what is wrong, nobody is going to cling to that. Nobody will use that as their personal motivation. You really need to ask them and you need to ask yourself, what do I do to make myself succeed? It's a curriculum. I don't hate it, but I don't think some of it is necessary. Um, some things are just kind of pointless that we're not going to use in like real life, so. It's, uh, some of it's interesting, some of it's not, but you gotta do it. Now, it just seems silly to me that I just, I spend every day in this facility, and this facility has so many resources, so many staff members that can help me work toward my goal of what I want to do in my life, and how I can fit a role in society and instead everything just is boiled down into this standardized test and it's almost as if your entire weight for the rest of your life in society is based on your grade on the standardized test and no wonder students get stressed out because of it. I think in a perfect world it would be interesting to start really following what you want to do in high school instead of in college to try to get more experience. So, I mean, the classic curriculum isn't really my kind of thing, but it's with the system we have, so I kind of have to deal with it. If the teachers were more into it, then I think the students would get more into it. Um, I think it should be more independent for the students, and they should be able to like choose more of what they want to study. I think it should change by giving students more freedom. I feel like we don't have as much as we should. And I think that kind of like holds us back from expressing ourselves. I mean, school is so competitive that uh, we just see so many kids failing. And like, why is that? Why do we have this system where kids just aren't motivated to do any of this? Because they can't realistically see how any of it applies to their life because a lot of it doesn't. This isn't just some ethereal point that we're making. This affects people in their real lives. In my life, I have a free period and I have talked to teachers about developing an independent study that would help me personally in my education and the administration has basically told me that they'd rather see me sit alone in the library than personally work towards my own education and I really think that's wrong. Moving forward, our generation has a lot of responsibilities in a world that's changing. We currently have a very archaic system based on a gross misapplication of educational tools. By reforming the system to cultivate individual growth rather than this collective standardized workload, we can begin to reform the world around us as the generation responsible for the world. We are the generation that is going to take responsibility of the world using the tools that we do have and by using the facilities and the resources that we do have and working together to fix this system and reform this system toward individual growth, we will move forward in the new millennium.